Oh my god, I didn't know the colours looked like that. Moved the camera. Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a advent calendar unboxing on the Makeup Obsession Count On Me advent calendar. I am so excited to get straight into this. this is our first advent calendar of 2020. I can't wait to see what's inside it, but if you are new here, I am Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what other advent calendars you want me to unbox and please enter my huge giveaway linked down below as well. It'll also be linked on the end screen at the end of the video too. Let's just get straight into it. This advent calendar cost me £30 on the um, Makeup Revolution website. They also have this coming to the Boots website, but for some reason it's £40 on that one. Not too sure why. Um, but this is what it actually looks like. And then you just take the sleeve off. So this is, it's 25 days of exclusive exclusive makeup obsession cosmetic products and accessories okay so i've moved the camera oh my god oh my god for god's sake i don't even know how it all went in to be able to put it back in together okay so we're back <laughs> i don't even know if i put this in the right order so for the top section here this little bit and this little bit if yours, when you get when you get it, if it's in a different order, that's just because I'm a doyle and I've just dropped it all over the floor. So let's just ignore that, shall we? Let's just ignore that. Let's start with day number one. I do remember day number one being up here, so I'm pretty sure that was right. Um, but let's see what's in day number one. I can't believe that's just happened. Like that is such a Lucy thing to happen. <laughs> so day one number one obviously comes in the little box, and it is a blusher. This is what it looks like. It's actually a really nice colour. And it probably wouldn't be a colour that I would naturally pick up either. So let's go in with number two, which is a long skinny one. And number two is a eyeliner. So this is a Makeup Obsession. I don't know why I keep saying that because it's a Makeup Obsession advent calendar. So it's clearly going to be Makeup Obsession. Um, this is an eyeliner in just black. So that'll focus because of my face. Just looks like this. I don't know if there's any other advent calendars rather that you want me to unbox. If there is, let me know down below because I'm like struggling between trying to save <laughs> for a house and for YouTube equipment and stuff like that. And also wanting to do like videos of relevant stuff for you as well. The next one is another, oh no, it's a, uh, no, it's a lip liner. This is a lip liner in Oh, so I thought it was going to be quite this purpley shade, but it looks, ooh, that actually looks really, really nice. Looks like quite a nice pink shade. I'm going to have to tell my friend Amanda about this as well, because um, Amanda and her daughter are obsessed with Makeup Obsession. Um, so that was one, two, three. Let's see what number four has for us. The only thing about this one is, obviously, when you take things out, it's then going to fall. Isn't it? Should I take these out along the way? Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> um, so next up for number four is a bit of a shorter box than the other ones. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a mini brush. I was thinking, what is this? It looks like it's a mini brush. Oh my God, that is actually adorable. I do like that this one has the little boxes because I think you could very easily um, recycle these and put these straight into the recycling bin, which is what I'll be doing straight after this. For box number five, we have a lip gloss. Um, this one probably wouldn't be one that I will typically kind of reach for. This looks like this. Um, so I might put this into one of my giveaway piles for you guys. I think that's what I'm gonna do with quite a lot of these that must be a nine or one of these must be a nine. I don't know which one's going to be which now, do I? Because I've, I've dropped them. Oh, for God's sake, <laughs> Lucy. So I do, I, we haven't even got to that. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Right, so I don't even know whether this is number nine or this is number six or whether that's number nine or that's number six. I'm going to say that this is number six because it's up there with like the 
like earlier numbers. So let's go with this little one for number six. Oh, it's another little brush. I think for these brushes, I think I might put these into um, my giveaway pile as well. There is going to be a full video coming in Vlogtober of what is in my giveaway box. Ooh, for future giveaways as well. So make sure that you're sticking around. Make sure you hit subscribe. Next up, we have number seven. This is a brow pencil. Just looks like this. Let's see what colour this is. Ooh, so normally when you get kind of a average brow pencil, normally they're very warm toned. Um, but this is actually a decent colour. It's actually quite a nice colour as well. And it, it looks full size. It looks like it would be a full size product. Um, number eight is just down the side here. God, number eight is packed. There we go. Number eight is a different kind of version of a lip gloss, so not the squeezy tube one that we've already had. This one is just a pinky one. I think because these are made just for the advent calendar, then there's no like kind of names or anything to them. Let's go in with number nine, which also could have been number six. So I do apologize for that. Let's see what's inside this one. Looks like to be another compact. If I can, am I gonna get it out? Oh, it's a baking powder. Ooh, okay, that's exciting. It's quite a decent size. I like guess it's not like a tiny, tiny compact as well. I don't know why it it seemed to be more expensive on the Boots website. It hasn't actually launched on the Boots website yet. It's only on the Revolution one, but obviously it will be in the three for two for the Boots one, but it'll be an extra tenner. Next up is another compact for number 10. This is a contour, which to be honest with you, is quite warm for a contour shade. So it probably would be more of a bronzer for me. I don't know if it's quite dark, but obviously that is, I think it's, it's gonna be hard for advent calendars for them to get it so it suits every single person's skin tone because that within itself would be really, really hard to do. So it's good that they've got a range. Ooh, number 11 is a brow gel. I love a good brow gel. This is just a clear one, which I think is going to be best because if I went for a colour, again, it's going to be really hard to get it to match everybody. So at least with a clear one, it's going to match everybody. But number 12, it looks like it's going to be another compact. I wonder if I could do like a full face using this advent calendar because it seems to be, ooh, highlighter time. So next up we have a compact highlighter. Again, like no name to it because I think this is just all stuff that's been made for the actual advent calendar itself which seems to be quite a common theme with revolution this year it seems like they've actually instead of just putting all the old like oh i haven't put into word this properly instead of putting all the old rubbish in or like the cheap palettes it seems like they're actually making advent calendar makeup for the advent calendar like specific products and stuff and stuff that links to their re like recent launches as well just from the videos that i've been watching but you know. <laughs> Number 13 just looks like this. I do like the packaging of this, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Number 13 is a gl ooh, it's a glittery lip gloss. So it just looks like this. A nice clear one as well, which I would be more likely to use than the pink one in the squeezy tube. For number 15, we have oh, another lip gloss. I'm a bit disappointed by the amount of lip glosses. This is the fourth one now, the third squeezy tube one. But um, the other one that we have is also in like a long tube. This is a third squeezy tube one and it's a purpley coloured one. When am I ever going to use this myself? So I think I'm going to put this into a giveaway pile for you guys. Or I'll pass it on to my siblings or something. I've missed 14. I was thinking, I've missed a uh, number. Yeah, I've missed 14. So let's go back to 14. This one is... An eye primer, ooh, okay. Doesn't look, this looks like there's bits in it. it. Actually doesn't look too bad of an eye primer, to be honest with you. So, yeah, eye primer. Quite impressed, not gonna lie. Um, For number 16, it looks like we have another compact. So number 16 is the bronzer. Let's compare this to the contour. The bronzer does look darker. Right, yeah, the bronzer is slightly little bit darker. So this is the bronzer on this side and this side is the contour, but they're both very warm toned. So like the bronzer, I understand being really warm, but the contour, 
I wouldn't really put like a warm, warm red contour on because it's just going to look like a bronzer. Yeah, I just wouldn't naturally do it myself. But anyways, um, number 17 looks like we've got another skinny one. Oh, this one feels quite heavy. Oh, so this is more like it. This is a matte liquid lipstick. Just in a nice gorgeous red shade. Let's see what this is like on the back of my hand. This is more like it, like a nice actual Christmassy, festive kind of colour. That is actually stunning. I need to start wearing red more. I used to always wear it for nights out, but obviously with lockdown and everything that's going on in the world, I'm not going on any nights out. So I never really wear red lipstick anymore. Um, then we've got number 18, a long thin one. This is a liquid eyeshadow. This is beautiful. Um, it looks like it's very purple and glittery. And a bit jewel chromey. Ooh, look at the shine on that. I'm really getting into kind of glittery liquid eye um, eyeshadow at the moment because I just find for like quick and ease, it just is so quick to like shove on your face basically. Um, number 19, it looks like it's gonna be, oh hiccup, <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be another compact one. Oh, it's another highlighter. Let's compare it to the other one. So the first one that we had was quite a, gold toned highlighter whereas this one is more um bronze than anything else just both look like this um which is really good because that would suit darker skin tones and for me personally i could use that as an eyeshadow and this one if it is too dark for me again oop, i could use it as an eyeshadow and literally a gold eyeshadow with a red lip is just totally screaming christmas at me as well so i feel like you could do quite a bit with this palette. I feel like the, the kit in you up with quite a few essentials. Um, for number 20, which is actually my birthday, um, 20th of December is my birthday. Oh God. And we have a liquid eyeshadow in gold, which is my favourite colour for my lids. I've got like a kind of goldy colour on today. Oh, that looks beautiful. So you can see it up here. Yeah, you can see it over here oh my god so i would be happy i always feel like advent calendars if they have a really bad one for my birthday on the 20th i feel like it lets me down it's like my birthday i should be getting like an extra good one <laughs> and obviously no one knows that it's my birthday like the advent calendar people but yeah that's what that one looks like um, and then we have 21 which looks like a very large compact compared to the oh my god i thought it was empty i thought it was empty but it isn't. It's a compact mirror. I was about to flip up. I swear. <laughs> I was going to be like, where's my thing? Um, I do feel like that's a bit of a letdown, if I'm honest with you. Having a compact mirror. But if you don't have one, it's nice to pop in your handbag. I do prefer the ones that are closed, just so it doesn't scratch the mirror. But hey ho, it looks like a huge badge. It isn't like a huge button. <laughs> um, I would have been really disappointed if I got that on my birthday not gonna lie especially when it's in such a huge box like that i'd have been like oh it's an extra big one for my birthday and if i opened it and got that i would have been very disappointed very disappointed <laughs> um number 22 i think this one might be a lipstick just from the size of the um tub but we haven't actually had like a normal bullet lipstick yet um, and that's what this one is so it's a bullet lipstick in, in quite a nice shade actually Ooh, the shade just looks like this it's actually quite a nice shade to be honest oh you can see it there i'm not mad at that i am not mad at that i wonder if it's like yeah it's like revolution where you can pull the top end of the lipstick off that has the color in and there's more product in there i don't know when anybody would ever use that unless you were using like a lip brush but anyways number 23 is a skinny little one and it looks like 24 is the exact same well i think it's another brush this one you have a brush let's have a little look what this one's like oh it's like a brow brush angled brow brush and then 24 i'm guessing maybe this is going to be another brush yeah i wish they didn't put as many brushes in i know like some people would like that but i've got like a million and one brushes like <laughs> but anyways not everybody does because not everybody is well off the head and buy as many stuff as me <laughs> um so that's what that one looks like that one is going to be a really nice one to carve out the brow that kind of stuff and then last but not least we have the big bad boy 
Um, this is obviously for Christmas Day. Some Advent calendars do like up to 24, don't they? And some of them do 25. Um, but this is a eyeshadow palette, which I am buzzing about. This is the Undercover Shadow Palette. <gasps> oh my God, I didn't know the colours looked like that. Shut the front door. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh my God, it's turned into a bit of a manly voice there. But oh my God, that is gorgeous. That is such a gorgeous go-to palette. It's got like your mattes at the bottom, like, well, obviously technically the top, but it's got your mattes along here. You've got a couple of shimmers. You've got like transition colours, things to make it a bit lighter if you don't want to go as dark. I'd be buzzing to open this on Christmas Day and I think it's absolutely amazing that this is in the advent calendar. Like all this for £30. Even for some of the things that I'm like, oh, well, it's not really my thing. It's not really aimed at, I think it's probably more aimed at younger people than it is necessarily myself. Um, I think like my sister, like my 13 year old sister would have absolutely loved this. Um, and I think Millie, well, I don't know, because Millie's sometimes into makeup, sometimes isn't. But anyways, um, I'm really impressed, really, really impressed. The colours that, that are in this, wow. They've actually, <laughs> they've actually really wowed me. I didn't know that they had them colours in it. And there's like a gold in it. Oh my God. <gasps> Just swatched it on my finger and it feels so buttery smooth. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on camera. I don't think you will. Oh my God, that is actually stunning. Okay. That's just made it. That has literally just made the advent calendar. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any certain advent calendars that you want me to review or unbox or do a full face tutorial with or whatever, um, leave a comment down below because I'll only buy them if you are interested. If you're not, then I won't. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to pop this into the recycling. And yeah, don't forget to end my giveaway. Bye, guys. <laughs>